Hello wonderful people, here's Oliver. Nice that you're here again with me with another video about the magic of thinking big. Can you read minds? This is the question today. And yeah, as you know, this question comes from the magic of thinking big, a book that I'm reading right now. And this book is just amazing. It's, it changes your attitude so much. Just by reading it and observing it, you, you start to think differently in your daily life and of course you get different results you get better results better relationships you get a, a more money better job whatever it is you can manifest a lot just with thinking because everything starts here and this book is sold six million six million copies sold this is amazing and it's one of the best books ever really very simple described and one of the best books i ever read and if you know him or not but kevin judo is an amazing guy he recommended me this book and it's really worth it so check it out the link is below let's dive in here in the chapter today make your attitudes your allies can you read minds was his question and i'm asking you the self the same i realized that there are some people that somehow they seem to feel they, they feel what you think and they they up they observe you cannot hide from them and those are the people who have highly, who are activated, who are present. And you know why? Because we all read minds. Yep. He talks about attitudes. Your attitudes determine what you communicate to the other person or to the world. So if you have a floppy attitude to your work, like oh, another day of work and other things another day where I need to get things done that I actually don't want to do I want to do something else my job is shit I don't like this person this person is unimportant your boss my boss is not important blah 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 you don't even say it you know you don't say you do, you pretend to that everything is okay right so but your boss most of the time people can really observe it really depends where the person is but most people no I, I would even say everybody observes an energy that you put out so your attitude so this person then sees you you're at work you don't say anything about my work is shit you just think that it's your attitude but the person can observe that something is wrong not just something is wrong but this person is somehow floppy you know it's I don't trust this person so that's what you can do as well just try to just try it out and and observe people if you go out with people observe their attitude their energy it says so much more than words and this is what he talks about in this book here i mean it's a small topic but it's it's um just two two sides but anyway it's so true and it's really good to get aware of it because if you have a floppy attitude and you don't say anything about it, it doesn't matter because people observe it so if you have a floppy attitude about your work your colleagues your um, your bosses wherever will observe that and it will not really give you a good result and we want to have good re good results right so i tell you a little story about myself what happened to me i started to develop this floppy attitude so it's very good that i'm that i'm reading that now and yeah, I started to build resistance in my work, in my job. I, I just didn't like it. I didn't want to work. I didn't see the purpose why I do what I do. I just had a bad, negative, floppy attitude about my work. And I thought, you know, I don't need to say anything, right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's just me, you know. But I still do what I have to do. And exactly then I just did what I had to do. I didn't give my best. I didn't have an attitude like, I love my job. I'm great. I will get great results here. I love to be in this team. I love my boss. My boss is important. Uh, you know, I, I those are not the attitudes I had. I had very, very negative attitudes. A, a lot of complaining. And my boss on one point, she really realized that something is wrong. And she she asked me, what's going on? Something is wrong. And that was already at the point where I started to speak about it and we could discuss it and solve it. But the, the time between when we didn't talk about it and I just was in my negative attitude, the work really went down. I felt, I felt bad. Um, our relationship got more bad. 
I mean, it was just, it just felt down. It was just not fun. It was just not fun. And um, I almost lost my job, basically. Be- that's how you lose jobs, or that how you, that's how you lose opportunities in general, or or friends, or relationships. If you start to develop a negative attitude towards the person, the job, that opportunity, you will lose it on one point. If it get, gets deeper and deeper, because the other person realizes that it just it feels weird. You can test that with your partner or with a person, a friend, whatever, and you will feel that you will develop a negative picture about this person, about this job, and you don't even want to be with this person or this job, and the other person also feels that. So, he says, we should grow three attitudes, very important, to go out of it. So now you know that attitudes are super important and people, they... they real they feel what you think so your f- thoughts have so such a huge power that you don't even need to speak them out but it's energy energy that it makes you feel different it puts you in a different state your thoughts and people will s- feel that and observe that even if they're conscious or not some people they are conscious about those things or they just they have a better intuition they have a better feeling about people others they have no feeling about people but they still they get it unconsciously so everybody feels if you think negative everybody will feel it and observe it okay so it's very important to keep a positive attitude about everything and if you complain once and you feel once bad about the person or you think bad about the person don't punish yourself it can happen but always remind yourself back to the to the positive to think big about people to think positive to to have a great a positive attitude about things and your job and whatever you do okay very very important and it's also practice right so don't punish yourself if you don't get it immediately so the three attitudes are first of all first of all grow the attitude of I'm activated very important because most of us are very sloppy the, the attitude of I'm activated makes you activated and then you also can activate other people and you're more focused you're more more excited you're getting things done it just feels good to be activated very important and if you're honest how many times of your day do you feel really activated really be honest with yourself are you feeling more tired or are you feeling really like i'm activated i'm ready to do things i'm ready to conquer the world basically so really be honest with yourself and 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 just take that to your heart right now and put it into your daily life try to somehow sometimes just think about I'm activated. I am activated. Today is a great day. I'm ready. This is very important. That's what he says and I agree with him. The next attitude is of you are important. Honestly, I don't really understand why you are important. I guess that's to people what what we talked about. If you think like your boss is unimportant, you start to build a negative attitude towards your boss, which will not end in a good way. It just will, you don't want to work there, you don't want to talk to this, it doesn't bring anything. So, I'm agree, if you think about your boss is important, not like it's the boss is higher than you, just everybody is important. Everybody's unique and important, everybody has unique skills. So you are important, others are important, see them, see them as important and also make them feel important. That will give you so much in, in life. Because if you make people feel important, people will give you so much. They will give you trust. They will give you more money, more work, whatever it is. Very important. The next one is grow the attitude of service first. Very, very good point. Because I need to learn there some more. Um, I love it. And yeah, let's de- develop it together. And I would say to wrap it up, people, can you read minds? That was the question, right? So actually you can. It happens unconsciously. You don't really read the the specific thoughts, but you read the energy that the thoughts produce, the attitudes. So that's what he talks about. I love this book. There was just one chapter. There are so many great chapters. And this book is really about the thinking. And thinking makes creates your reality. That's really... In, in, everything happens starts in, in the thinking. Your, your thoughts produce feelings. And your feelings make you... Put you in action. They make... If you feel bad, you make you make certain action right if you feel tired and bad you probably go to sleep and you don't en- do don't do anything and you maybe even get depressed you know those are the the negative spiral but you produce those thoughts that made you feel it in a certain way and the more you develop a, a positive successful strong mindset that empowers you 
the more you attract things, the more you feel like I'm ready, I'm ready to do things, I'm ready to, to live my potential, I'm, I'm, I'm good enough, I'm strong. You know, if you think those things, you will also attract the, 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 the opportunities in your life where you really can prove it. And that's happening to me right now. I am really thinking again. I went, I was just recently in this complaining mode about my job. We had a talk which was really intense, but it opened up a lot and made me realize that I need to take the responsibility for myself, for my life. And it starts all here in the thinking and in, in how I feel in my everyday life. And it's also how I create a better life. I don't create a better life by complaining, but I create a better life by taking full responsibility and feel now my as my greatest version, as my best version, feeling now great, feeling now powerful, feeling empowered basically. Because there are always two sides. Either you feel empowered or you feel weak. You feel victim, victim mindset or empowered mindset. Those are the two. This is what I realized. That makes it very simple for me and it's always a choice. You know, all negativity, like complaining, I'm not good enough, whatever it is, is victim mindset. And all powerful thinking, the positive stuff, is empowered mindset and it's your responsibility to empower yourself with the right information, with the right people, with the right opportunities, with the right actions, with the right practices so you really can create a better life for yourself and also make an impact because if you are your best version you make a, an impact, you are able to make an, make an impact, so very important. Um, I think that's it. Let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about the magic of thinking big. Um, I'm soon finished, so let me know what should be the next book I should read and talk about. Um, yeah, let me know. I'm interest, interested in your opinion and I want to make more videos that benefit you. Okay, so let's talk. Let's have a conversation down below. So I really can create the videos that give you value, okay? Great. I think I don't have anything more in my mind. Um, I feel great today. Today is Sunday. I started my day with a great morning routine. And I think I will make a video about morning routine. Because the magic of a morning routine is so, so huge, so magnificent. So, that was it. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, wonderful time until we see each other again. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I want to give you more amazing content, content and value. You are amazing. You are a creator and you can make your dreams come true. Come with me to this journey where I make my dreams come true, where you can observe and see where I, how I grow. In the last two years, I grew huge. So it's going to be better and better. Growing mindset. I love you guys. See you soon.